people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video and FNAF fans are eating so good recently. We just got Security Breach announced for the Xbox, we got a brand new DLC on the way for Security Breach coming next year and finally we've also got some news from Scott himself. So if you're excited for Scott coming back, making a big announcement on Daco's charity stream, hit the like button if you're new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. Subscribing to this channel is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in the FNAF scene. And let's just kick it off. So a couple days ago, Daco hosted a charity stream for the Trevor Project. It was absolutely incredible. He raised over $51,000. And Scott just so happened to pop into the live stream because he had a few things he wanted to announce and also a incredible donation of 10 thousand dollars also this doesn't really have anything to do with the video but i kind of wanted to throw it in because i think it's hilarious so when scott popped into lewis's stream Docker was playing poppy playtime chapter 2 and scott typed in chat my son ethan who's six years old loves poppy playtime we play it on roblox over and over again the real game looks so much better than the roblox versions i thought that was such a nice comment that's so sweet and funny i just had to include it but anyways back to the actual topic of the video after a very generous donation and a few back and forths in chat scott finally left off the stream saying lots of big stuff happening this year stay tuned and so obviously people are freaking out not only only is Scott in the stream, which is incredible to see because he actually retired from making FNAF games, uh, I think uh, almost one year ago to the day. It was a few days ago, the one year anniversary. And since then, he's not really been engaging with the community. You know, he's not really on Reddit anymore. He he only shows up really in Daco's stream. So this was a very awesome occasion. He is still manning everything behind the scenes though. Just to make that clear, I see some confusion on Twitter every now and then. Scott is not making any more FNAF games, but he's still kind of the, the main head behind FNAF still. You know, he's still telling uh, Steelwall and Illumix what to do. He's still working on the books. He's still, you know, doing all the merchandise deals, uh, you know, stuff like that. He just retired from making FNAF games themselves. So yeah, ever since then, he's been super quiet on, on Reddit. He hasn't made any posts really, and again, only shows up in Daco's streams. So this is very big. Again, not only he showed up, but also he said there's big things coming this year. And that's very interesting, because we're about to go into July, which is over halfway done with this year. And so far, you know, I'm not trying to discredit what Scott's saying, I wouldn't really say we've had anything major released this year for FNAF content. I mean, of course, we have the Tales from the Pizzaplex uh, books coming out in, in July. We've obviously had some major patches and, and bug fixes and updates for Security Breach. Uh, but other than the Ruin DLC, we don't know what's going on with any of the games. You know, Illumix has been incredibly silent. Last we heard from them was in December when Funtime Freddy came out and they held like a, a f another photo booth contest in January. And that's it. It's been dead silence from them. But yeah, other than maybe more teasers and trailers for the Security Breach, you know, Ruin DLC and also the new book series you wouldn't really think that there was much going on this year with FNAF. So I went on Twitter and I asked people, what do they want to see with this comment? What are they hoping to see this year? And I got a lot of replies. First up, you got Kane Carter, you know, the creator of Pop Goes, kind of half joking saying Pop Goes Arcade on Steam and also some Pop Goes merchandise. Which when you think about it, this isn't really a joking reply. We're going to get a lot of fanverse news this year. I got a big FNAF news video coming out this week, but we did just get our first look at the Pop Goes U2s. Like Kane said, we got Pop Goes Arcade coming out on Steam pretty soon. I think it's pretty likely we can see FNAF Plus this year as well. Maybe some more teasers on Candies and T-Jock, you know. A lot of fanverse news could be coming out this year. Of course, the main thing people want to see is updates on the FNAF movie. And with Jason Blum in March, I believe, saying that news is dangerously close, we definitely are due for some news on the film. At this point, I think FNAF fans will take anything. Some casting calls, you know, a poster, uh, maybe a trailer if we're lucky. Maybe some behind the scenes, like some, you know, photos from the sets. A new director announcement, maybe finally nailing down a script and getting filming. I definitely, definitely do think we're going to get some news on the FNAF movie this year. Hopefully it's going to be good news because we've had, honestly, nothing but bad news for the past couple of years at this point. I got a lot of people wanting some collabs as well, whether it be with Fortnite or Fall Guys, you know, uh, Dead by Daylight as well. Scott did say, I think it was back in 2020 or 2021, one of those two years, uh, that they weren't doing any 
game collaborations, you know, no Fall Guys, no Among Us, no Fortnite, but who knows, maybe times have changed and Scott's like, you know what, you know, I've seen a lot of people in the community kind of fight for these game collabs, maybe we can see some this year, I don't know. Of course, I'm seeing a lot of people fight for some new games, whether it be from Scott himself, which I don't think we're gonna get simply because he is retired from making FNAF games. But besides the Ruin DLC, maybe we could see a new game from Steel Wool? I don't know, I kinda doubt it, especially this year if they're just working on the Ruin DLC. But who knows what they have planned after that, but I think the big thing people want is an update on the FNAF film and also maybe some more game announcements. Maybe a few more books as well. I'm sure we're going to get some more Tales from the Pizzaplex books revealed at some point throughout the year. Maybe finally revive <laughs> FNAF AR. I don't know how. I don't know what Illumix is working on over there. Hopefully they're working on something big. But I'd say the big things to look out for uh, for this year are hopefully some more fanverse stuff. Like I said, Pop Goes Arcade, some merchandise, as well as maybe FNAF Plus this year. Probably some more teasers and trailers for the Security Breach, you know, DLC ruin. We also just recently got the Fazbear Pizza Delivery Service revealed. That's going to be interesting to see how that develops over time. Hopefully some updates on the movie. Again, that's kind of my big want, because like I said, Jason Blum a few months ago said that news is dangerously close, yet we've got no updates so far, so... I don't know if Jason was just trying to keep fans entertained for a bit. Well, they work on more stuff behind the scenes, you know, getting a new director, writing a new script. But we definitely, definitely really need an update on the FNAF film. Again, poster, trailer, maybe some casting reveals. I have no clue. I think at this point, fans will take literally any news on it. But I think that about does it for this quick little update FNAF news video. I'm super excited to see Scott finally interacting with the community again. Like I said earlier, it's been over a year now since he retired making FNAF games, and it's definitely nice to see him come back. I've seen a lot of mixed reactions on Twitter, actually, about him showing up. I know there's still a lot of people who are kind of annoyed that he hasn't stepped down from being the head of FNAF anymore, especially since he's not interacting with the community over on Reddit anymore, so I don't know, it's 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 kind of mixed and I'd love to know what you guys think. Because one year ago, in that retirement announcement, Scott did say that he's gonna hopefully pass on FNAF to someone in the future, but we've had literally no updates on that, it seems like he's still the man in charge, and it's certainly been an interesting, uh, kind of lonely, one year without him saying much of anything on any social media, especially Reddit, where he used to make a whole bunch of posts, he used to reply to a whole bunch of people on the Reddit. So to go from that to just dead silence while he's still in charge, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit weird. I'm not out here saying that he should step down, I'm just saying I think we need to pick one or the other. Because I think the fan base is struggling right now. I think we're, we're at a weird place where we're all divided. And since Scott is stepped down, but at the same time still in charge. Again, I'm not trying to say that Scott needs to set, you know, completely step down necessarily. I'm just saying I think something, something needs to happen. We gotta get this all sorted out, because right now we're in a very, we're in a bad place. The community is pretty divided, and I think this may be one of the big reasons why. Because behind the scenes of FNAF, things are also pretty divided. Where we still have Scott, you know, big man in charge, but we're not, you know, getting any more communication from Scott. I don't know, that was just me rambling at the end. Again, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you want more communication from Scott, what are you hoping to see this year in regards to FNAF? I'm assuming it's gonna be a whole bunch of movie stuff, probably some fanverse updates and Ruin DLC updates. Like I said earlier in the video, I got a big FNAF news video coming out this week as well, so stay on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.